A car accident in Central Florida has claimed the lives of five people, including three young children. This accident happened around 8 last night in Orange County. Florida Highway Patrol says the collision involved an SUV and a car. Several of the victims in the car were ejected from the vehicle. Both drivers survived, but the cause of the, uh, cause of the crash is under investigation. And in Marion County, a 42-year-old was killed after his motorcycle hit a bear that was standing on the State Road 40 at US-19 near the Ocala National Forest. This crash happened just after 11 o'clock last night. The bear also died. And you're looking at the Florida woman who's accused of pretending to be a licensed doctor and even performing surgery on a man. Police in Durrell say that Alcara Jimenez does not have a license to practice medicine in the state. They say they were tipped off by a man whose face was disfigured after she operated on him. Florida is now one of 25 states seeking to ban transgender women from competing with biological women in school sports. Capitol Bureau reporter St Jake Stofan spoke with lawmakers who say it's only fair and those who say it's not. There have been recent instances grabbing public attention of transgender women taking titles in state and national women's sports competitions. Those cases have spurred legislation in multiple states seeking to prohibit or limit transgender athletes from competing in women-only leagues. We recognize that there are some physiological differences in strength. State Senator Kelly Stargell is sponsoring a bill in the state Senate. We want to have women to have an advantage and be able to participate within their own network of, of, of strength and safety. But Democratic Representative Anna Eskamani sees the efforts as discriminatory. Are these bills an attack on trans kids? The fact that we're handpicking um, cases that have become sensational in the right wing media to draw this dynamic of, of, of anti trans uh, rhetoric is really dangerous to equity across the country. The House version of the bill would out outright ban transgender women from competing in girls sports. The Senate version would allow it so long as the athletes maintain a low testosterone level. Eskamani says while there are some restrictions at the professional level surrounding trans athletes, when it comes to kids, it's different. Excluding kids from playing a sport they want to play uh, because they're in the process of gender transition feels really wrong. Neither bill has been scheduled for a hearing, although Mississippi has enacted a similar law, and South Dakota legislation is currently awaiting that governor's signature. Reporting from the state capitol, Jake Stofan, 8 on your side.